is Kevin Mayo, and today we're going to drink some Knee Deep Bruin Citra Extra Pale Ale. Knee Deep Bruin is out of Auburn, California, which is pretty cool because my wife is from Auburn, Massachusetts. Totally opposite ends of the country. Uh, they've been around since 2010. Looks like they kind of are an IPA outfit from what I can tell. They're saying that their most well-known beer, I think, is something called Hoptologist. This is a single hop beer, obviously Citra. It is 7% ABV, 45 IBUs, and in very, 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 very small print. They have the date on there. I had to get a magnifying glass out to read it, and I'm not complaining because at least it's on there. And I believe it was brewed June 20-something. I can't tell the day, but it is August 5th today, so it is a good six weeks old at the most probably maybe even only five weeks old. So coming from California, that's nice and fresh. That's pretty impressive. Um, so, and I'm sitting around, I got back from the gym. Red Sox suck, there's nothing to do, nothing to watch. I'm saying, what are we gonna do? We're gonna drink some beer. So let's crack it open and see what we got. Wow. I haven't even started pouring yet and I'm already getting that citrus flavor coming up off of it. As always, if you like the reviews, please subscribe. We're always looking for new friends. And go ahead and leave comments. Because we love talking about beer. So we got, oh, I would say, really depending on which light I'm putting it in, maybe a, a light orange, dark yellow. Out of the direct light, it's, it's a dark yellow. Two fingers of just slightly off white head, reasonably clear. It's a little hazy. I'm, I don't know if it's unfiltered or if I get a little bit of a chill haze on it. And just a little bit of carbonation, not massive carbonation at all. I got a few bubbles streaming up through it. Let's do the aroma. And you do, you just get that massive grapefruit. and passion fruit. And a little bit of the malt. You get a little bit of that caramel coming up through it. But yeah, citrus is, the, is your main, which again, with this hop, is what you would expect. Let's do the taste. Very, very, very good. It's crisp and it's clean. And you get a malt up front, and it's kind of a different kind of malt. It's, it's, it's almost like a lager malt, and they don't call this an IPA, or IPL, they call it an extra, um, an extra pale, or pale ale. But it's almost got, and it, they do, they don't name them all, but they do say German malt. I think they're probably using a Pilsner malt of some sort. But it's got that, that classic cracker toast lager taste, which is actually refreshing as, as it's different. It's not the same as what everybody else does. And you get lemon. You get lime. Again, like I said, crisp and clear. It does finish dry, but crisp and clean going down. You do get quite a month, quite a bit of bitter, considering it's only 45 IBUs. You really get some bitter in the back of the throat. Again, I know we, we kind of go crazy for citra hops, all of us, and I find them a little bit, um, a little bit subdued. 
You don't get the massive aroma, even though I got it as soon as I cracked the bottle. You don't get as much massive aroma. Obviously, you don't get the piney from it. You, it's all it's 100% citrus. So it makes a nice beer. I don't know that it makes a great beer. Um, and I'm not dogging this beer in any way, shape, or form. It, it's really, really good. Uh, I wish I had more of it. But, it, you know, this would probably be a nice gateway beer. It, it may be just a hint too bitter for what I would call a classic gateway beer, but you kind of get the, the beer flavor that people are used to. Yet, you get a little citrus in there, you know, a little grapefruit, a little passion fruit, a little lemon. And then you get some bitter. So, I'm kind of done talking about the beer. Like I said, it's not overly complex. Um, I, we're not picking out 14 different flavors in this one. So I'm just really trying to feel where I want to score it. And I, I could say it's a solid B beer. I would definitely drink this beer again. In fact, I'm going to give it a little bit higher on the B scale. I think we'll give this one an 89 out of 100. Till next time, keep drinking.